Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're chasing some illegal fish. Let's get to it. So right now you might be asking yourself, Jack, why the heck are you going to catch an illegal fish today? Rightfully so, that's a very valid question to ask yourself. The reason being, we're gonna go and catch what's called a snakehead. These things are invasive to South Florida. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that a little bit later in the video. We're gonna catch it, we're gonna clean it, and we're gonna feed it to my sharks in the backyard pond. First thing on our agenda today is gonna be getting ice for the cooler. Now that we got our ice in our cooler, we're gonna head over to the spot. Now this is a spot that I know very well that has a lot of snakeheads. So that's gonna be my go-to spot. If it doesn't plan out, we'll hit a different one. But I'm super excited to do this. It's almost like a new series that I'm thinking about doing where I can mix the fishing and the aquariums at the same time. A lot of people do catch clean cooks, but here we're gonna do catch clean feeds. Let me know what you guys think of that down below. We'll go out, catch a variety of fish. Each video will be a little bit different. We'll catch a fish, clean it up, and then feed it to our aquariums. Most of the times we'll feed them to our sharks because heck, our sharks are scrap eaters. They'll eat just about anything. Obviously, we're still gonna add to all the aquariums and all that, but you know what? I wanna mix up the content a little bit. It's a nice change of pace for me, and it's a nice change of pace for you all. So let me know what you guys think of that down below. We're pulling into the spot right now, and we're gonna get after our illegal fish, bullseye snakehead. All right, we've made it to the spot and we're about to get to fishing. Now these snakeheads thrive in this dirty water. They're ambush predators. We're gonna be throwing a top water frog right there. That little top water frog is gonna run across the surface. I'm gonna pull it underneath trees, along banks, any sort of ambush point. These things will sit under trees. They will sit on the bank. They will sit under pipes. They'll sit behind just about anything and they will ambush whatever comes by them. They like this dirty water, this hot water, the shallow water, the water that literally is just absolutely disgusting. That is where we are fishing today. So let's get to it. Let's see if we can go get our very first bullseye snakehead for the catch clean feed. Ooh, all right, so we're walking up to this roadside canal essentially. Right there, there's a road and right here is just some gross water that doesn't look very appetizing, but the snakeheads love they love this. So we're just gonna take this topwater frog, sling it around, literally just like that. Throw it on the bank for all it cares. I mean, you can throw it on the bank, you can throw it along, you can land it in the water. It doesn't really matter too much. You just want your bait to be on top and running across the surface, just like this, you guys can see. Oh, there's a little baby bass right there, but you just pull it like that. Oh, look at that wake right there. Oh, nope, that was a snakehead right here. Snakehead right here. Come on. Come on. You want your bait to look as natural as possible. So don't be afraid to literally throw this thing all the way across the canal, 20 feet past the water, and then reel it back towards you. It'll be very natural. Frogs jumping right off the bank, lands in the water. That sparks this that sparks the snakehead's interest. He wants it. If he's hungry, he's gonna eat it guarantee you that so this fishing can be very very visual but it also can be you know a lot of blind cast but if i were to walk up and see a snakehead right here they're quite smart you're going to want to back up a little bit then make your cast if they see you more times than not they're not going to eat the bait but you can definitely spot them across the way that is for dang sure All right, so right now we're not in the area where they're extremely concentrated. That is over here behind me and we're about to go over there right now. But if you guys are interested in these informative videos where I talk to you about baits, where I talk to you about how to fish them and where to fish them, that interests you, go down, click the first link in my description. The fish guys are coming out with a mystery box that's loaded with lures that we know work, help you all catch more and bigger fish. We're gonna give you guys tips and tricks and techniques. It could be a beginner, intermediate, expert, it doesn't matter. So if that's something that interests you, go down, click the link in the description, Put your email in there and you'll get notified as soon as this stuff gets rolling. We're about a month out, maybe not even. We in the zone now, they like to sit underneath this tree. So I'm gonna try and make a cast all the way to the other side of the bank, pull it right along the edge, just like that. Just like that's literally textbook perfect. Watch this, you guys, come on. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jackie. Come on, Jackie. Come on. Come on, fishies. I know you guys are in there.
That's the cast, 100%. 100%, come on, come on. Oh, here he comes. Oh my God, oh, he missed it. Did you guys see that wake shoot out from the tree? Holy crap. That fish saw that thing ripping along the bank. That fish saw this lure ripping along the bank. He came out waking on it, but he just didn't commit. We're gonna go change baits. We'll be right back. We're gonna catch that fish. Let's go get him. I know what they're doing. They tucked up in here. Watch this. <clears throat> you can run, but I guarantee you, you can't hide. This is where they all are. Watch this. Gotta look for snakes for sure. about to eat it all right sometimes you gotta work for it okay we are on the move now we're gonna do a little spot and stock all right ladies and gents so we're gonna see if we can find one along the bank and then we can make a cast at it because plan a did not work out too well but plan b should work that's just how fishing goes Got him. There he is. There he is. Just like that. Perfect freaking sized one too. Hey. You better stay right there, boy. Oh my God, we had to work for that one. We had to work for that one. Oh, mission accomplished, ladies and gents. Well, we had to work a lot harder for this one than we anticipated, but there you have it right there. The bullseye snakehead. Look inside of that mouth right there. You guys can see that frog. I mean, halfway down its throat. This thing saw its come. This thing saw the frog coming from a little bit of ways away. He lit up on it and just came and boom. The GoPro was in and out of footage because it was overheating, but I'm gonna humanely dispatch this guy, get him on ice, and head home to clean him up. Alrighty, we are just now getting home. Let's take a look at how our snakehead's doing. Ugh, all right. And there he is. He's just taking an ice bath, that's all. Let's look at this guy. Oh my God, yeah, he's cold as can be. Cold as can be, just how you want it to be when you fillet it. Now let's go take a look at the saltwater pond. Here comes Richie Rich. Looks like this guy is ready to eat some food. He's starting to realize that when this tent right there comes off, it's time for him to eat. We also had the mangrove snapper who was uh, right over there. Where'd he go? He was ready to rock and roll too, but Speaking of rock and roll, all these rocks I gotta put back on top of there just to clean it up a little bit. What's good, Richie Rich? How you doing, buddy? Saltwater Pond is just looking amazing. And I got some stuff coming in next week for that, so be on the lookout. All right, we need the knife and we need this bad boy. Let's go ahead, grab our snake head out of here. Here he is, perfect size one, not too small, not too too big. Check out the eyes on that fish right there. You cannot miss this fish when you're walking the bank because all you see are those two eyes just like that sitting there and they're really smart. If they see you before you see them, typically they're not going to eat. But here you have it, the bullseye snakehead. You guys can see how they get their name right there, the bullseye right there. They really are a super pretty fish. You can see they have all these little white dots. Now this one is a bit of a dull one. They're usually a bit darker. This one is just a bit lighter, but still it's a really pretty fish right here. Listen to this. You hear that? 
It's like a freaking coconut. These things are just absolute brutes. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and clean this snake head up and then go ahead and feed it to our sharks. Now, a lot of people actually eat this fish here. They're invasive to South Florida. Now, I have done my fair share of killing them, but I've never actually killed one and ate one. Some people absolutely love to eat this fish. Now, when I just look in the water that it swims in, to me, it just doesn't seem very appetizing. Now to my sharks, that's probably a bit of a different story. They'll have no problem eating anything, but at first glance, wow, this meat is as white as it gets. This is a bit of a difficult fish to fillet because of how round it is. It makes it want to wobble back and forth. But there we have it. There's our first filet right there. Doesn't look too bad. This meat right here, ladies and gents, really doesn't look half bad. That is some pink meat. Almost looks like, God, I don't even know. Almost like a, like a snapper. That is crazy. Now, like what I was trying to say is this fish right here is very flat. This is how they sit. Most fish kind of are up and down. These fish can sit flat along the bottom. They typically really want to roll around a lot, but looks like we did pretty dang good here. I'm going to knock the other side off. Then we're going to take the skin off and feed our sharks. Holy cow. That is some pretty meat. Pretty, pretty meat. I'm freaking excited. This is a win-win. We get food for the fish and we eliminate one more invasive species here in South Florida. So let's take this. Actually, let me cut it up first before we walk over there. We got some freshly cut up snakehead right here and we got some hungry sharks. Look at that bamboo right there. That is a freaking beauty. Look at him going. And there's the other one right there. There's Happy Gilmore. There's Marty the Zebra Amore eel. We're gonna get to this right now, you guys. Here we go. Let's get the first chunk in. Let's see what they think. There it goes. Down, down, down to the bottom. Oh, we just saw Gus the mangrove. We just saw, it. oh my God. Oh my God, Gus is gonna get it. Gus is gonna get it. Gus, 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 oh! Gus just got it. My boy Gus, the mango snapper, literally just ate a piece of snakehead. That is freaking awesome. Now we got Richie Rich out, so let's throw another chunk in there. There it is, going down to the bottom. After this, we're going solely underwater. Couple minutes, just like last video, and you guys can see all these fish come out and hunt. Here's Gus again, boom. Gus has two, holy cow. All right, y'all, we're heading underwater. Richie Rich ate just about every single one of those damn pieces. Happy Gilmore barely didn't get any, but I'm gonna go back and feed him more. Well, golly, does this pond look dang good when this sun is beaming down on it. There comes Richie Rich. He's still freaking hunting around. We have another shark coming extremely soon. It is not even funny, and you guys are not gonna wanna miss it. This pond is coming together real nice. Well, I was about to end the video, but then I realized, heck, I'm gonna feed all this leftover snakehead to these fish anyway, so why the heck am I not gonna feed it? Come here, boys. Come here, there's the big old bass, watch this. Hey, boom, bass devoured the snakehead. Here's our big old red tail, Jeremy. Jeremy, get it, yeah! Willie, 
Willie, look at Willie. He's freaking out. Willie is freaking out. The tarpon's right behind him. This is a bit chaotic. He got it. He got it. Holy crap. I'm really trying to pick my shots here. Trying to pick my shots. This is how you roll through food. Roll through food. Ah, oh, the bass just got me. He just got me. No blood. Phew. Really trying to get this to Jeremy, but that big tarpon right there that you guys see is really trying to steal it from him. Here we go. Come on. Willie, you want it instead? Oh my god, I don't know who got that. It was either the bass or Jeremy, the big old red tail. I hope you all did enjoy this video. Something a little bit different. I sure enjoyed filming it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Next time, I'll have Fish Guy Kyle or my girlfriend or Brooke film me filleting it. And I can go over just a little bit more in detail about how I'm going about filleting it. But nobody was available, so I had to make do. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. Go ahead, comment down below what shark you think I have coming in for that pond right there. Comment it down below. If you're right, heck, you'll realize in a future upload. I am just so thrilled with this pond, the way it looks, the fish inside, how it's going, no algae, perfect salinity, everything thriving. Heck, we better knock on wood that it stays like that. I love you all so much. I will catch you all in that next video. Peace out.